Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, create G code for a single path text. Um, I am using Inkscape. Let me open up a new Inkscape here. That's it. Um, the two pieces of software will be uh, uh, the two pieces of software will be G code tools and um, Hershey text. All right, let's get started. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is create your text and you do that by going to extensions render then uh, Hershey text you in here this is where you will define the text and you cannot edit this afterwards so you have to do this here um, I haven't messed with this this is the type of font okay apply and there's your text close and you you will see that uh, oh I set it to bold hang on extensions mm, render um, Hershey text Oh, sans bold. Okay, so sans stroke. Let's just do a stroke. Um, hello, apply. All right, there you go. So close that window. And here we have a single uh, stroke text. Um, if we go to view, display mode, and outline, you'll see that it is only a, uh, this is, it is a single stroke. Great. Now what we're going to do is use our oh so familiar G code tools, right? Uh, first of all, we have to define our orientation points. You set your, it's going to be whatever you want here. Uh, I'm, here's your depth. Just quick little tip. Apply. Close. Orient, or, um, the origin is right here. So that's what you'll be calibrating your CNC machine to. Um, Oh, we have to do a little more editing to this text before we move on. We need to click path and then object to path. Then object uh, ungroup and and then object ungroup one more time, I believe. Just, just do it a few times just to make sure that these are all separate. And they are, so that's good. All right, so I'm going to click off of it select it all again uh, go into G code tools I got I'm gonna go ahead and define a tool this is important because if you're new to CNC uh, this is the feed rate that's the most important thing you don't want to break your bit break your tool I should say all right then um, finally we can actually uh, export our G code if we go up to I'm sorry Extensions, G code tools, uh, path to G code. And here you can set your file name uh, in your file location and things like that. So um, there's many other settings you can mess with, but go ahead and click apply. Ah, uh, wait, it did take it. Okay, for some reason it said, told me there's no paths, but as you can see here, uh, it did. Just to be sure, I'm going to reselect extensions, G code tools, um, path to G code, uh, apply. Okay, so I don't know why it threw that error, but anyway, so it didn't the second time, that's good. And here we have our, well, orientation and direction and all that stuff that it's doing. Uh, and it looks good. So we can uh, pull up the file and plop it over into our, um, wherever, wherever you. Uh, you know, cut your stuff. So here's here's the file I just created, and um, send it over to. It works so far. I've only used it with Linux CNC, and it works with that the G code, whatever version it, it works with that one. So, hope this helps. Bye.